I had the liver about 13 years. It started to change probably in the last two years of that 13 year period. Evidently my autoimmune hepatitis had hit the new liver. It didn't take long after that for me to go downhill pretty fast. I was around like 11 at the time and being so young, it was difficult to understand why he wasn't home and why he was so sick. It hurt not having him around. I probably was less than a day away from passing and my wife got a call from the coordinator here at the University of Maryland. They were completely willing to, to attempt the surgery just at the right time. And so we rushed over to the University of Maryland. 2017, I started talking with my nephrologist more seriously about my kidney issues because the medicine that I was taking and the hit that the kidney took from the liver being impaired really drove my kidney numbers down. We had begun talking about dialysis. We'd begun talking about transplant. I had done some research and, and knew that I had to be 18 to be able to be a living donor. And so when they started talking about that, I was, I was getting excited to finally turn 18 so I could uh, be able to get tested to be a living donor for my dad. Me and my mom were both matches, and she went, went ahead with it first. Due to some other issues, she wasn't able to give him a kidney, so then I was the next person up. I was amazed that my wife and my son were both matches, first of all. Um, I was really um, kind of rooting for, for my wife to be my donor because of the fact that um, I felt really unsure about having my son have a surgery that he didn't need and you know you, you're more protective of your children luckily it was it was perfect it went off without a hitch they did it laparoscopically which is awesome he doesn't have a scar came out doing really well it was really worth it the whole thing was i would do it all over again just to give my dad a kidney